Well, we've all started back to school, and typically we think we're really tired or our kids are really tired because of that first week transition, but it's really not the case after all. With me is Dr. Todd Bell, Texas Tech Health Sciences Center. What are some other reasons our kids are tired? Well, you know, definitely changes in routine can certainly affect how we feel, but for our kids especially, a big part of that is that they're just not getting enough sleep. Uh, as a society, we tend to uh, look at folks who are getting plenty of sleep or get a lot of sleep. Well, that's kind of lazy, and folks who get are able to function on very little sleep that, well, they must be really energetic and go-getters. But the fact is that teenagers really need to have somewhere around probably at least nine or ten hours of sleep at night. There's okay. some studies to suggest maybe even a little more. Kids who are a little bit younger but still in school, those middle school or elementary school age kids, really need to have more about 11 hours of sleep is kind of what we would target. And even in adults, we need to have seven or eight hours of sleep. It's not just about how we feel, but it's actually what happens to our body when we don't get that sleep. Okay. We see that there's changes in our metabolism, there's changes in our ability to think and to process. So someone who's well rested tends to be more productive than someone who is sleep deprived. Somebody who's, who's better rested tends to have better behavior than someone who's mm -hmm. sleep deprived. Yeah. When we're thinking about being able to focus and concentrate in school, ADHD, all those things are affected by whether or not we get enough sleep. And I think one of the things that we as parents also need to do is try to model the importance of that sleep for our kids uh, so that um, uh, we can set a good example. It's easier said than done, isn't it? It absolutely is. It. Uh, absolutely. That's, that's reality. I know. So some of this, uh, them getting too little sleep can actually tie into childhood obesity you mentioned. Yeah, so it actually, th there's an effect potentially on obesity because it actually changes how your metabolism works. Mm -hmm. Um, there's long-term health effects, uh, effects uh, potentially with diabetes, with hypertension, wow. or high blood pressure. There's real problems with long-term sleep deprivation. All right. Thank you so much. A lot of reasons why they really need to be getting their sleep in. Thank you. We appreciate it. If you need more information, talk to your local doctor or head to our website, newschannel10.com.